Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Last week we didn't have a vlog because if you guys follow me on Instagram, I got sick for a few days so I couldn't leave my apartment. Actually, I couldn't leave my bed so I couldn't do anything. Today is the first day I feel like myself again, which I'm really happy about, but that means that all of those days where I had work and errands that I needed to do have been pushed back to today. I also have a few days left before they start renovations on my bathroom. I have a work today, I have deadlines I need to meet, and I also have errands I need to run because life doesn't stop happening and coming at you. That being said, today is mostly adulting stuff and one work event, which I'll take you guys on. And then tomorrow will be probably more of the fun stuff. But one fun thing that arrived today that I'm really excited about about okay are my new jewelry that i ordered myself this isn't sponsored but i'm really excited so i wanted to share it with someone uh these i got from la it's from a brand called orium collective i wish i could buy everything in the store but uh your girl is on a budget and is trying to buy a car i got the earrings and the matching rings i'm super stoked about it so i'm wearing it immediately today i'm also wearing this top from Love Bonito. It comes I think with a, like shorts too but I'm pairing it with my favorite baggy jeans that you guys are tired of hearing about. So we're just gonna go run some errands and as usual I'll take you guys with me. Let's go! I have no idea what I'm doing, okay? I'm just picking things from her list that I think are cute. And when I asked Yanni what does she need, she said she needed a bunch of swaddles. So I'm just gonna get her a bunch of that because that's what she said. Um, and I hope she likes them. Hey guys, yesterday you saw that we went to the Sunny's event and then I just went home and worked on the laptop and went to bed early. Today I finally get to style the blazer that I showed you guys in the last vlog. So I figured I would show you what I'm going to wear it with. I got this top online so I can finally wear it but it is very sheer so I didn't want to just wear a bra underneath because I'm also like not at my best shape right now so if you can see here I'm wearing a nude bodysuit so they're both bodysuits I'm wearing two bodysuits right now I have the nude bodysuit under and then this sheer one on top I also love that it has the cutout for the thumb because then I don't have to constantly tug at it. The reason I'm wearing pink, one, it's the color of the year, but also it's one of my good friends' baby shower later on, which I'm hosting. And since we are anticipating to welcome a baby girl, of course, we are going to be in theme. And why not find any excuse to finally wear this jacket because the more I wear it, the more I ROI on it. You don't want to buy something and then just have it rot in your closet. So let's do that. You guys think I'll try to, I'll try to shoot it outside when it's a little bit more bright because it's kind of dark in here and the lighting's kind of off. So you know what? I'll catch you guys outside. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
guys, I don't know how this is possible. I, let me just tell you really quickly. Sorry, I haven't even like finished getting ready because this just happened and I am so grateful and I'm so happy and I just wanted to share it with someone. So yesterday I was working on the vlog. I was uploading files and I was trying to categorize where the files would go and then I realized oh I still have some files in my SD card that I need to upload and my SD card is inside the vlogging camera so I was like okay great and I look around my apartment and I couldn't find my vlogging camera and then I realized I couldn't even find the entire bag full of all of my vlogging equipment so it's not just the camera I had the tripod, the microphone, the lights, portable speakers in there, and I started panicking. And I was calling everyone who had been in my apartment and who had come across with the bag and we were trying to backtrack. And after a few hours, I had just accepted that either thrown out in the trash with the construction because obviously there's construction ongoing in my apartment right now and like accidentally thrown away and if someone found it in the trash and someone must have just like taken it and so yesterday i had dinner with suyan and bell and all throughout dinner i was just spacing out and i was really upset and for i think a few minutes i just sat on the couch and i didn't cry but i was just dumbstruck like i was like how did this happen right so i was really sad and then my mom had the great idea to check the cctv of the apartment to see if the bag had like left in and out long story short i know that was already pretty long but long story short it was still in the car in the honda car that i had borrowed but i had already returned the car to honda and they had already sent it back to their warehouse and i was just one panicking because i found this out last night and of course the entire office and everyone i was talking to was asleep by this point so i wouldn't have gotten an answer until this morning and by that time i was like okay they're probably already gonna lend the car to someone else so if someone else saw the bag in the car they'd probably just be like great i have all this equipment now but thank god i got i woke up and i got a message from the team at honda and they were like we found your bag we're sending it back i cannot express enough my gratitude and my happiness that I finally got my vlogging camera back because I had only had this for like two weeks and of course I spent a lot of money on it and I was just feeling so bad and it felt like I had just thrown all that money away and you guys realize how hard I'm already I'm gonna start crying just right now but I'm not I'm gonna stop myself but you guys know how hard I work and I have sometimes I have really late nights and you know it's and it's, it's exhausting and it's tiring and so it sucks when you feel like you know you had put all that effort in and that time and that money and then it was just gone now i can breathe a deep sigh of relief i'm finally using the camera again it is back in my arms and i just needed to do this quick video break in the middle of the video because the next part of the video was supposed to be the files that are in this camera right now so yeah i just needed to say that and I'm gonna thank my lucky stars and whoever is looking out for me. I, I don't know how this happened, but I'm so happy I got it back. Thank you to the Honda team. Thank you to everyone who found a way to get it back to me. And my mom, who's a genius, to check the CCTV. So, okay, now I can breathe. I can get back to getting ready. And then uh, I'll catch you guys towards the end of the video. All right, enjoy.
I know I said this video or my hair was gonna be done by the end of this video but life happens and so here we are I just put my hair up in these velcro rollers after curling it just to let the curl sit and cool down while I made coffee and while I answered emails I also wanted to say I am loving this glow that this cushion is giving me this is the Les Beige, Le Beige by Chanel and it is in the shade, I think it's number 30. I love how supernatural it is and obviously it's not a lot of coverage because you can still see my freckles but that's what I love. And then, because I know you guys are going to ask, lipstick is by Byredo, Byredo. This is in the shade Okra. There you go. Before I end this video i asked on insta stories and a lot of you guys responded that you wanted me to do a luxury makeup products that i will be repurchasing so i'm not sure if i'll do that on tiktok or youtube but as usual i'll always keep you guys posted i just wanted to say that you know sometimes i don't know if i'm i think i'm a ne very not an overthinker maybe i am <laughs> But I do like to kind of think about things as they happen and I realize that sometimes you really don't realize what you have until you actually lose it. So if you guys are, you know, going through the day and you're complaining about whatever it is, menial, obviously we all have our struggles, but like menial things that just annoy you throughout the day, you know, sometimes it helps to stop and remember how grateful we are for the things we have like I'm grateful that I can vlog and that I have I got my camera back and that I have this community and that I can share all of this with you guys I'm also being sentimental because this week was a little bit challenging for me not just about the camera but there were other things and I also just got sick whenever that happens I think I become a little bit more emotional <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you guys for always supporting me. I see all of your guys' DMs and comments and it really means a lot. And I will try to get to all of those videos that you guys want to see. And now that we got my camera back, we are back in business, baby. So with that said, we're going to end this video here because I feel like it is already getting pretty long. And you guys don't also want to stare at me in my rollers. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bumbling.